Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to this game's tutorial. Today, we are going to create the option button up here. Now, just imagine that this is some kind of uh, cogwheel icon or something. And when we click on it, it is going to say, well, living now is going to reward you with, say, zero gold. And that is the bonus that we're supposed to get whenever we um, are defeated minus one wave. So we don't actually abuse it. So as you can tell right now, we are on wave one. If we wait until we're on wave two, we actually get the bonus of wave 1, so it says leaving now will get you 100 gold, we test this out, so 750, 850 now. And of course, as you could tell, we've got these two buttons working, so this is the resume and this is the exit. So we can now go from the game scene to the hub without having to die. So guys, without further ado, let's get started. So last episode we took care of finishing the research, the abilities, and we just put some action to those. Today we are going to put a um, option button up here so we can actually navigate from the game to the actual hub. So we don't need any new scripts, we don't need anything really new. Well I lied, so we need, we need a new piece of UI, so basically we're going to go back inside of our game scene. And uh, while I'm here, I'm actually going to move this one, so the enemy left, left to spawn, I'll be moving it on the left. Doesn't really matter where it is at, I'm just going to put my option button up here. That is why I'm doing that. So, uh, once we did this, I am going to right click on the 2D UI, UI, image, or you know what, never mind that. We're going to do a new panel. And I'll just anchor it top right, also put the pivot point by holding shift. Move this 0, 0, 0, let me just fix these bugs. And the width, say, is going to be um, 75 by 75, something like that. Also give it a small margin, why not? So minus 5, minus 5. And that is going to be my option button. Now, of course, this is going to be some image of, say, cogwheel or something like that. And um, this is going to be the option button. Not on the same object. Another object, actually, is going to be the menu. So I will right-click here, new UI, panel, and this is the option menu or option panel really depends on what you want to call it um, and this is something I'll anchor at the very top center also with the pivot point and the width say is going to be um, 300 by 200 I can move this here and it's going to overlap on top of my recap menu now I can actually turn off this recap menu and nothing is going to break so that's what I will do here. We've got our option button, which is up there, our option menu. Let's actually fill some stuff we, um, to put in here. I had in mind that we could be putting some kind of text that would display. Okay, so if you're leaving the game right now, you're gonna lose your progress, but you're gonna be gaining X amount of gold, which is pretty much the same gold bonus we give, uh, we give on, um, on defeat. So whenever you lose, say you lose on first wave, you get 100 gold because you made it to first wave and we we uh, multiply that by 100. So if you make it to the 24th wave, you get 2400. Now, since this option menu is easily accessible and easily clickable, I will do current wave minus one, so the user is not able to actually um, quickly go into a game, click the pause button, uh, click the, the option button, then leave, get 100 gold, and just do that over and over again. It actually has to complete the first wave to get that 100 gold. So I got lost in thought a little bit. Let's just do it. I will right click on my menu, UI, text, and just say, um, let's type in something like, if you leave now, you will gain X gold. We'll put that on best fit. I will also make the width something like um, 250 the height 800 that looks really bad let's put an actual amount here see if that works hmm okay maybe reduce the height that's good okay so 85 in height now we also need some buttons because the whole purpose of this was not to just show this text it was also to give some navigation to the user so I will add a button so a new UI button this is going to be the resume button. I'll anchor it at the very bottom center, 
position y is going to be say 10, height is going to be 50 and width 100. Now I'll make the position x minus 55 and let's actually change the text of that button. This is going to be resume, duplicate it, minus 55 now becomes 55 and this is going to be the um, exit. So let me change the name of that button as well, so exit here, and we are pretty much good to go. Might need to do some resizing, this looks kind of awful. Uh, see, it's already better now. Okay, so the whole UI part is already completed. All we need to do now is actually plug in some function in that, so we will do this inside of the game manager. Let's open it up. And it's really not a lot of code, it's only like two function, and, uh, and that's it. So at the very top of our game manager, we've got this over here, the recap menu. We're going to do pretty much the exact same thing. We declare a um, public game object option menu. Now this option menu is going to be turned off at the very beginning. So set active is equal to false or is set to false. And what else do we need? We need to create some function for our button. So let's just go at the very bottom of my script over here do a public void on option, which is going to be whenever you click on that option button at the very top right of the screen. And also public void to hub, which will mean that the user actually click on the exit button and he should now be rewarded with gold and leave the game. So, um, on option, the first thing I'll do is I'll check, are you alive right now? If it's not alive, we're gonna return. If our player has failed, he sees the recap menu right now. He does not see. He does not need to see the option menu on top of that. It's just going to look messy, and the recap menu has a button for him to go back to the hub anyway. So we're gonna leave it like that. Then just below this, we'll calculate the amount of gold you get. So int gold reward is equal to current wave minus one. Make sure you put that in an extra set of parentheses. So we do current wave minus one times a hundred that's the amount of gold you're supposed to get. So if you're on wave one, current wave minus one is zero, zero times a hundred, you don't get any gold, so you can't cheat. Just below this, we'll do option menu, that set active, and um, I don't really wanna have a uh, toggle on and then toggle off, so what we'll do is we'll use the same button to actually toggle on and off. The way we're gonna do this is we're gonna set active and we're gonna check the actual state, uh, state of the button right now and inverse it. So, exclamation mark, option menu, active self. If it's active, it's going to be off. If it's off, it's going to be on. Simple as that. And it's also get the um, text component, so get component in children. It's supposed to be the first one. Make sure that the text is the first thing below the option menu. So if your buttons are on top of it like that, it's going to grab the text of your button and we definitely don't want this in this case. So let's go back in our code, get component in children, we're getting the component text, not texture, text, that means we don't have, hmm, we don't have Unity Engine UI, let's put it, using Unity Engine dot UI dot text is equal to something like uh, leaving now will reward you gold reward to string plus gold pieces no just gold okay <laughs> pretty much any kind of message you want you can put it here and that's going to do the job let's copy this over the gold reward we're gonna need it in the to hub function as well now whenever you press on that exit button we're gonna say the tower dot instance dot currencies at the index gold, so int currency gold plus equal gold reward. So we're gonna give the player some gold and we're gonna make sure he exits the scenes by saying scene manager manager dot load scene. And we're loading the hub scene. Now we obviously did not include this in our namespace, so let's go ahead and do that using Unity Engine dot scene management. And we should now be good to go. So that's pretty much all we needed in the code. And right now I'm thinking out of uh, 
or the blue like this, whenever we die on tower death, if that happens while the menu is active, the option menu is active, let's actually turn it off. So we're going to do um, option menu, set active, false. Just a little additional check. Okay, so we should have been, uh, we should be good right now. Nothing is supposed to break and we don't seem to have any error. We do have a warning that is getting quite annoying, but unfortunately this is going to be used only when we have our images. Let's go under the preloader, load this up, go in the game, and we do have a null reference up here, and this is because it has not been assigned, so under our game scene, manager, uh, we've got the game manager and the option menu. So let's actually drag and drop our option menu in there, and I just realized that we haven't, um, we haven't put our button, like our button, they don't have any action, so we definitely need to do that before we test out. Let's click on our first button, the option button. This one is only an image right now. Um, let's add a button component to it. I should have created a button, but I've, I just created a panel, I think. Anyway, you add a button component on it. On, in the unclick event, I'm going to hit the plus sign, drag and drop my manager. And under that manager, there should be the game manager. This one now has a function, a public function that is called on option and we'll just choose this one. Now that this is done, we're gonna head over to the resume button. Resume button is the exact same thing, so we don't wanna have like any fancy stuff with resume button, it's the exact same thing as if you click up here. So we will go ahead and just drag and drop our manager, find our game manager, on option. That will work. Now under the exit, we add the manager again, and the function for on exit is called to hub, just like this. Everything should be working fine. We hit play. So we've got no error. If we click on the pause button or the um, option button, it says leaving now will reward you zero gold. Let's actually do that. So as you can tell, 650. We go back in the game, we still have 650 gold. And clicking again on this is actually going to pop on and off that very thing if we click on the resume button also works and now let's actually wait until we clear this very first wave okay so we clear the wave we wait like three two one we're on the second wave leaving now will reward you with a hundred gold so we're at 650 let's leave go back 750 so everything seems to be working fine and we finally got a game flow that we can just navigate through so go from here to there back to here without having to wait to actually die so guys i hope you enjoyed this episode i hope you learned something if you did please leave me a like really appreciate that if you have any question or comment you can leave them in the comment section below or on the facebook page um, other than that please subscribe for more tutorials like these and i will see you guys in the next one